In this video, I will show you how to georeference maps or printed plans so that we can later on digitize from them individual features, for example, burials. And in our case, um, we have this plan of the Miko widget site. And you might see here the structure. We have a general overview plan. And if we go down below, we have the plans for the individual burials as subplans. This is a rather specific setting here. Usually you have only one plan and you can digitize this plan and there you can start or georeference this plan and from there you can start digitizing the individual features. It's not the case here, but this just means that we have to have an additional step to first georeference this overview plan and then see how we can fit in the individual plans here. Okay, let's start with this one. At first, what we need is the plan itself. So I save this image here at our working area here. And I make a new folder for the eight session. That we have it already there. And I save it as this curvature overview. Dot png for example okay and now we need on one hand a tool set from which we can georeference the whole thing and on the other hand we need um, the back um, map with which we can georeference that let me show you this in a second at first we need to have um, the JS program running and we used here QGIS. So I start up QGIS and it starts on my second screen. So here it is. Some earlier projects I did, but we want to start a new project here by clicking here or on project new. Now we have a blank and empty space which is already have some coordinates here and some scale but we don't see any map here to add a map a background map from which we also will get the geographic information we have to add um, a map we can either use already um, georeferenced maps as a background but today it might be very convenient to use an online map for that I have already some online maps available here, which I use from time to time, which is quite interesting for us. Now is the open street map thing here. And all we need is a name and a specific URL. And from this URL with uh, Z, X and Y coordinates, we can download tiles, so um, parts of the map that are georeferenced and with that we can display that. If we would not have already this here, I would have to go to XY tiles, make a new connection. I call it now open street map two. And here I can paste in or type in the URL and just click on OK. And now I have here my open street map two option and if I double click it we can see now the former white canvas has turned into blue that means we are in the middle of the ocean we can zoom out and then we see the whole world here so we want to go to Prague Miskovice and I've already looked up the general location of the site there so we are near Prague and Miskovice is here in the north of Prague and when we zoom in we find this area here and I can zoom in even a bit further and if we compare that to our uh, map we can see that it's actually this area where the excavation took place so more or less here so we can use this as a background to georeference the map that we have to do so we need the georeferencing tool 
in QGIS and we find that under raster and georeferencer. If we click there, um, we have to select oh, here a new window pops up and here we have to select a file and the raster file that we would like to georeference. So I click on open raster and then I select the place where uh, the raster is saved. I went here to session 8 and there is the Miskovich overview PNG file and we will use this for georeferencing. Now off screen, now it's on screen, um, I see which coordinate system should be used here indicated by this EPSG numbers and since my background map is on EPSG 3857 we also use here uh, three five three eight five seven and then we see here the VGS 48 pseudo Mercator projection coordinate reference system and we will use that okay now what we have to do is to identify features in the map and connect them to features that we have here in our background map so what might work is that we select the edges here of the individual buildings for example the river and we have to click and connect different points here on the scanned raster with different points here on the map this is done by you can see my mouse arrow has turned into a crosshair here so let's start with this building up here and just click on the left upper um, corner of this building and then I can enter geo coordinates but I don't have them yet so I can take them from the map canvas from the canvas here on the back so it is the upper left corner of the image uh, of the building here far to the left so I find this one here click here and say OK and now we have a point here dot here and a dot there so these points are connected and now I have to add more referencing points and the more I have the more accurate the um, georeferencing will be in the end and it's also good to spread them over large parts of this uh, scanned map so that most of the parts are well um, uh, rep represented here so next thing I take the right uh, down right most building here so I take this one take this from the map canvas I have to zoom out and zoom in here a bit so it's this building here I take this corner here and click on OK now I can see that this is connected to this building and I have to repeat that for several times I just do it one time on camera and then I will do the rest off camera so I take here this building here and the lowest point here take this from the map canvas zoom out and add was this building so I take the corner here and click on OK and I realize now I did took the wrong building so this building is actually should be that building in that case I have to remove this point here um, by selecting this one here and uh, no, let's, let's do it graphically click on this thing here delete point and select that point there and now it's gone and now I can add another one so let's take this up here take it from map canvas and it's this building so I take this point and okay now we'll do the rest off camera now and now I have nine points of which I can start georeferencing first we have to set some um, additional uh, settings for the georeferencing 
we can do that by clicking on this uh, item here and we have it first to select the target uh, system so we use the same that we had before 3857 pseudo mercator vgs84 48 <laughs> and we can specify a name for the output raster so this name here to, usually it gives us the name of the original file plus modified dot tiff that's okay we have to store that in a geotiff format so tiff is mandatory but the rest you can change that name if you like also we can add compression that might reduce the uh, file size so you could use the lzv compression that is okay then we also have to select the transformation type we will use the thin plate spline this gives us the most fitting to the original points here okay now we can also mark here load in QGIS when done so that the map is automatically loaded if the transformation took place and we can click on OK then it takes a while no not now because at first we have to press this button here to start georeferencing now it takes a small while and then up here we can see our georeferenced file here um, it doesn't look too convincing if I move this here you can see that there's some distortion going on here because some of the points were not kept or done so well um, we could change that by for example taking here a polynomial transformation type and restart this process this looks even worse so we move this layer also we could use also the helmet transformation and there we can see some distortions going on here and now if we compare that now it fits quite okay so all the objects are more or less where they should be all the streets are more or less where they should be um, if we zoom in a bit here so with this mark here I can add or remove this specific um, layer but for our purposes this might be okay good and with that we have this map georeferenced I can close this here and um, we'll be asked if I want to say georeferencing points yes I will okay I was usually this is enough and now we could start georeferencing uh, digitizing the individual things here but since here we have uh, only this overview map we have still to fit in the smaller maps for doing so I have to save them um, out of the original file. I also do that off camera. And here we have the file for the A to D parts E and F. Now we can start georeferencing all these individual files into the uh, general overview file. Now this is a bit easier in a way because um, we have these rectangles here representing the original extent of the individual files so we can start georeferencing from them. Um, again we need to start the georeferencer and replace this raster we had before by for example this, this one here A to D. Again we have to select the coordinate system that's fine and now we can start georeferencing the corners here so I click on this upper left corner take that from map canvas and select this upper left corner okay then this lower left corner down here this one over here Here and that one on top here. 
And you can imagine, because I georeference from an already georeferenced map, the error that are in there um, add up. So this is not a perfect way to go. Usually it would be much nicer if we have already georeferenced information, for example geocoordinates, but if it's not the case, this is a way of getting uh, the georeferenced information as good as possible. Okay, I've done this here. Again, I have to set the um, the transformation type. I stay with Helmert. Um, the rest is more or less the same. That's okay. And I start georeferencing. And I can look to my final image now. And you can see now here that this one is fitted here into my box here. So that's okay. And for off camera, I will do the same thing for F and E. And there we are. Now we have all these individual sub information, sub maps here, georeferenced in here. And we can see the individual graves here. And we can start now digitizing their position. And that is what we will do in the next video.